Uh, I mean, it's it's cool, obviously. You know, anytime you get to a, a milestone that's, uh, <clears throat> I guess, close to 100, um, pretty cool. Yeah, um, get the chance to look back and realize it's been a long road to get here. Um, yeah, I told the guys after the game, I think I got 98 losses, so glad to get to 100 wins before 100 losses. So, um, you know, it's uh, I've never been a, a pitcher that goes out there and racks up strikeouts and, and you know, just puts the whole game on me so uh, 100 wins has a lot to do with the, the teams I've been around and the offense doing their job and you know giving me a leeway to go out there and work like they did tonight but it seems like you're getting more strikeouts this year I mean here the first the first nine batters you you, you struck out six guys I mean is there something different you're doing uh I told some of these guys kind of joking around I mean sometimes they just come in bunches I can't really describe it you know um I know my change has been you know better here the last five or six starts that helps um, you know, my, my slider has kind of always been my pitch my whole career, but I think, you know, changing the shape of it a little bit here this last year has, um, you know, just thrown in a wrinkle. You know, I've faced so many guys so many times that, uh, you know, if you can find something that moves a little bit differently, you know, it can kind of throw them off. I don't know that I ever got Lindor out multiple times in a game until I started throwing a cutter in 21. So, you know, just trying to find something different um, makes a big difference. Um, but you know you got to be in strikeout counts and you got to have stuff going that's a strikeout pitch for that day. You know if, if you're getting early contact, you're not going to get many strikeouts. And you know if you're going from 2-0 to 2-2, that's not necessarily a strikeout count. So that's uh, that's normally where my strikeouts come. You know product of count control. Could you sense when you warmed up tonight that you had something special tonight? Uh, I don't know. I mean that's I try not to put too much stock in how I warm up. You know, I've had a lot of starts where I go out there and you know lights out in warm-ups and you don't make it through the third inning and plenty of starts where I don't know where it's going and you tell Adley or whoever the catcher is on the way in, hey, let's just grind through this and see what happens and you get through seven innings, no runs. So, um, you know, the game is going to be what it's going to be when you get out there and you got to figure out what you have there when the first pitch is thrown. What was the atmosphere like tonight? Oh, man, what a what a time. You know, anytime you can celebrate a World Series team, you know, you get a lot of people in the stands and you already have a buzz going on. you got a lot of a lot of big names and a lot of cool people in the stands, too. Um, a lot of baseball people that uh, have accomplished way more in this game than we have. And, um, you know, to have them in, in the in the building and to have so many people out here celebrating them um, just adds to it. Could you talk about how much you love being an Oriole? Yeah, this is a really fun team. Um, you know, every team I've been on has their, you know, special little quirks and people and, uh, you know, aspects to it, <clears throat> you know. Uh, this team is just uh, its very different than any team I've been on with how many young guys that are so good at this game, how many young guys that just understand how to play the game the right way. I mean, you know, we're taking bases on, on really good players, extra bases constantly, you know, just because we're hustling out of the box and just because we see, you know, maybe one extra step after catching it, one little blip after catching it, and they're taking extra bases. Um, you know, that's how you really accomplish really cool things in this game. Was this a neat time to have this celebration here for this young group? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, any team that I've been around that celebrates someone who either gets to the World Series or wins a division or wins the World Series, it gives you a chance to see, um, you know, how much it means to the fans. It gives you a chance to see um, really kind of what you're working for, you know. Uh, all those guys, I can only imagine sitting down and talking to them, you know, how much fun they get to co have coming back, visiting with each other, reliving some of those moments, um, because we're going to be non-baseball players a lot longer than we are baseball players in our lives. So anytime you get a chance to relive some of those moments, um, I can only imagine how much fun that is.